Hey hey, Spring of Bay, Simply Tarot. Um, and this is a reading for the sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Happy birthday to all my fellow Aquarians. I did want to thank everyone for your prayers, warm wishes, light and love. Um, this has been, yeah, <laughs> it's hard um, getting past this. So, yeah, but we are so blessed. Okay, we have a number 43 and a number 26. We have deep knowing and happy, happy. So there's something that is within that you really know. Um, and you may not even realize it. You may have to do some deep diving within yourself to actually feel what this deep knowing is. I also feel like for some of you, uh, you need to look towards your dreams. You need to, to um, write them down. There's a message that's coming to you and you may not even realize it. Um, happy, happy. You know, it's a feeling like it's a time to be happy. It's a time to be appreciative. It's a time to um, feel harmony. But at the same time, I feel like there's something that you know and it's making you feel very happy on the inside. It's, it's almost like with the deep knowing, there's something you just know it. You know it. And on the inside, you feel very happy because you have faith. You believe. Let's see. Yes, it's, it's a feeling of inner knowing, inner wisdom, you know, and, and this inner wisdom gives you just this happy feeling because you know, there's something you know, you just know it, and it, it's like you're not worrying, you're, you're just, you know, there's a sense of peace about it. Okay, for Aquarius. Okay, King of Swords and the Devil card. Temperance. Okay, you are being guided about something. This is, it feels like a connection. Um, this is a connection where there is a lot of passion. I feel like it, you're taking on this King of Swords energy because you have a lot of passion for someone or for something. This is going to be different for different people. For some of you, this has got to do with a relationship. Um, temperance is here because, you know, it's time to balance this out. It's time for this to um, move where it needs to move. Uh, but for some of you, this is, you know, this could be work-related. It could be friend-related. And there's a connection. You know, there's a lot of closeness about this connection, it feels like. Uh, wherever it's at. I'm just going to be honest. Okay, let's see. If this is uh, work related, work related, okay, they were reversed. If this is work related, there's, you know, if you felt like you've had to guard yourself or you've had to put up your, um, guard against other people or situations or, you know, um, things that were unhealthy, unhealthy behavior. I feel like things are about to change. You know, the devil card is reversed. Things are about to change for you. Things are about to look a lot differently. Um, things um, where they once, you know, you felt like you had to completely just put your guard up because you know you didn't know what was going to happen it's about time to change show us more work related yeah the world is here that's change something coming to a close something um ending something where you didn't know now you know you have a deep knowing about something a situation or a job okay some of you i feel like may even be stopping a job 
to start a new job. And the world, it's like there's no limit. It's like you have options. I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. You have many options. Work related. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that um, a King of Cups is reversed. I feel, and then we have, you see here, the Ten of Cups. You know, the Ten of Cups, this is about feelings. This is about home. This is about family. And I feel like that um, with this being work-related, work what this has done, there's been something to do with a job or something to do with a situation. Um, if it's not, you know, work-related, it could be school-related. Whatever it is, it could be how you come up with your money, how you take care of yourself, but whatever it is, it's like in the past... It had you at a place where you couldn't you couldn't give fully to your family, and that's about to change. That is about to change. You know, things are changing. I feel like that it had you in a place of feeling really emotional, really um, like you couldn't control your emotions because you weren't in the right place, or you weren't. Uh, you know, the situation was not good for you. Things are about to change. Uh, so work-related, you know, this is relationship. This is um, a new job. Or this is a relationship where things, you're being seen. Do you see? He's being seen for what he's doing. So this is looking up. You know, something looking up, something looking different, whether this is leaving one job, going to another, whether this is school related where you feel one way and then all of a sudden things change and you're on top of the world, basically. Okay, now, if this is... Okay, if this is uh, romantic love related... Okay, you're dealing with a soulmate connection. I feel like one is younger than the other, and there may be children involved. Romantic love related. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. There's been a lot of drama at some point in time, or, you know, there's a lot of drama now. And this could be drama within your own mind. I'm just going to be honest with you. For some of you, it is. Um, we've got, see, we've got the two of pentacles reversed. It's not been balanced. Someone's not been telling you the truth. Okay, there you go. Uh, whoever you've been dealing with, they've not been telling the truth. They've not been being honest with you or themselves. And you see, you're showing up on the bottom. Um, you're in, you're not in the queen of swords energy, so that's a good thing. But um, at the same time, you're in an energy of thinking, of Really looking at things from a different point of view, it feels like. And I feel like that, you know, you're seeing things a lot differently. You're seeing things. You look, look at him looking out at the world. Looking out at what is. What if. What can be. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this is making me think, okay... Uh, yes, I've seen a post, uh, so I need to tell you, you know, how important are the words I am when you put words after it? Good affirmation, I am, and then put something after it, you know. Um, I just had to say that because I've seen it, but yeah. See, this is about, you've sown some seeds, something, you know, um, didn't work out the way you have planned with someone or something. Uh, but the thing is, I feel like they may, to, may have at some point up and left you or up and went away. There's a chance to heal this. Or there's a chance to heal you about this or them about this. Um, this is a soulmate connection. could be twin flame. Uh, a very good possibility. But, uh, you know, this is a feeling like things coming to light. Someone's not been being honest. If this isn't them, then it's been been you. Whoever it is, I feel like I feel like for a lot of you, it's them. They've not been honest. They're very uh, combative, or um, you know, they're just not giving. They're not giving that honesty, and it's like you know, you're thinking about that. You're looking at that, 
And, you know, you're looking at the seeds you've sown. You're looking at what this person has done. And it feels like they have left your life at some point in time. Or um, they've taken something. And it may have just been your time. But you're seeing things a whole lot differently. Okay, let's see. Can we get more of a look on this? Three of Cups. Okay. This could come back together. This could come... Um, for some of you, this could come back together. The world is on the bottom. You know, change. Things changing. High Priestess is knowing. Knowing. And then we've got that Two of Wands again. So, this can come back together. Or it can be where a truth is revealed that you needed to hear. For some of you, though, I'm going to be honest with you, judgment is here. And there's been a lot of um, lessons. There's been a lot of, um, whew, you know, not knowing. Do you see the Ace of Swords? You, it's not knowing. But that Ace of Swords is upright. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like getting the knowledge you need about a relationship or something that has been. Um, and for some of you, this is coming back together. For others of you, this is confirmation or this is a sense of knowing. A sense of needing to know something to heal. So, yeah. that That's a big deal. It truly, truly, truly is. Um, that means... It's, you know, it's like truth being revealed. Um, and this is needed, you know, because this is something that it feels like has been hidden. It's almost like hidden knowledge. Um, you know, that deep knowing. Wow. Okay, in the extended, I'm going to look at Capricorn. I'm going to look at, um, actually, I'm going to look at Aquarius as well. But just let me get a look, see, and see what's calling me to it. I'm going to look at if you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Capricorn, um, a Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, Sagittarius, and for some reason I keep hearing the word Libra, so I will look at Libra. So in the extended, we'll look at if you're dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, I'm going to, actually I want to take, um, I want to look at your weaknesses right quick. Okay. For those that this is about a job, weaknesses. Okay. For those of you that this is concerning a job or school or such related, you got for your weaknesses, Ace of Acorns, uh, creative force and confidence. You need to have confidence in yourself and you need to dive into your creativity. You also got Six of Acorns, success and triumph. You need to know that you're going to succeed. Don't doubt yourself. And that takes me back to um, I am. Put the words after it. You know, I am successful. I am successful. I am successful. And so it is. I am, you know, and then you put the words after it. Um, so, yeah. Now, if um, Aquarius weaknesses where love relationship is involved here. Got to do with romance. Okay. We got two of feathers, decisions and directions. 
So you have a weakness around decisions, making the right decisions, it feels like, and going in the right direction. Um, so I feel like now there's a deep knowing. I feel like that you just need to have faith and you need to flow and you need to see where it goes. You've got the tower, number 16, release and revelation. See things for what they are. Release them and let them go and let it be. Um, I feel like that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, you know, releasing it. Being happy. Have that deep knowing that, you know, you have done whatever you can do and th that's it. You know, you're not going to worry. You're not going to fall apart. Um... So you need to strengthen yourself, you need to release this person, release this situation, release whatever this is, and just let it be. Just let it be. See it for what it is, and allow things to flow the way they need to go. And then we have Five of Acorns, Challenge and Growth. You know, challenge yourself to uh, really have the growth that you need in learning the, the lessons that came along with this. Because this is a soulmate connection. Not all soulmates are meant to be with us. Many are here to teach us lessons. So for some of you, this is about a lesson. Or many lessons. For others of you, this is to be with this person. But it's also about, you know, going through these steps. Deep knowing. Being happy about things the way they are. Your life. And accepting. Seeing the revelation for what it is. And having faith is very important. So that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for um, everything. Thank you for your prayers. Um, please keep them coming. Um, you know, so much fatigue and pain with this. Yeah. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.